Hello friends, and welcome back to the long dark. Um, so, last time, we, um, heard Mackenzie on the radio. Um, we pretty much decided that, um, this is probably gonna be the last episode of, uh, of episode three. Um, cause I think all we really have to do is go here and, uh, go through the mine. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. This might be a shorter episode. We'll have to see. Um, but I am going to do this one real quick. Going to finish up this side mission before we uh, before we head to the end. Um, but I did have a few things I wanted to do before um, we do that. I needed to take care of some of my clothing. Like this needed to be repaired. Uh, we needed cured gut, which... Um, since it's been, it's been like three weeks since I recorded, we we're at 99%. It's been like three weeks since I've recorded, um, which if, uh, you know, if you've watched, you know why. I've, uh, been very busy with all of my, um, birthday things, um, which I'll get into all that, um, in a little while. Um, but I wanted to make sure I got all of my clothing that taken care of. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Okay, we can we can take care of that. Let's, because uh, we just we'll do a couple things because we just need to wait for this to get a hundred percent. Um, and then let me check. I think I did want to make some gloves, but I don't think I have the materials for it. Um, let's see here. Improvised hand wraps. Oh no, I thought we had like a a recipe or a blueprint or whatever you want to call it for for gloves, but we don't. Um, so we might have to search the village a little bit to find some gloves. Um, but let me see. We are very thirsty, so let's go ahead and drink. We're probably gonna have to make some more water. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have to make some more water. Luckily, we didn't drink all of our water. Let me select that. Um, we'll make some water, there we go. We'll go ahead and make a full liter. Cook that up. How am I doing on food? I'm very thirsty. Okay, we're doing alright. Um, I say that, those are the only two we have left. Actually, might might be all we've got. Okay. Um, go ahead and check that gut again real quick. If it's not ready yet, we can pass the time with this water. Pass time till ready. And pass time till it's fully cooked, till it's fully boiled. Take it. Pick this up. Um, so yeah, our gloves have been completely destroyed by wolf attacks and bear attacks. Um, so we need to, to find a completely fresh pair. And I mean, they don't have to be completely fresh, because we can break some stuff down to, uh, to fix them. I don't... I think I checked last time, but I don't think I have any gloves. I've got those, but those are pretty useless. Clothing, yeah, just shoes in there. Okay, uh, but actually, both those gloves and those shoes, I think we can get some leather out of. So if we need some leather, we can do that. Um, are there any gloves in here? Yeah, we can use that to make fires. No, no gloves. All right, um, let's go search some of these houses real quick. It's uh, it's gonna be rough without gloves. Yeah, look at even that. We could get frostbite. Frostbite injuries are permanent. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. Let's, let's do this quickly. So I could like go back and check footage, but. 
that would take forever to go back through everything. Um, we'll search the bedroom. I feel like gloves are usually in places like these empty. I, I know there are some gloves like I haven't I found that I haven't used at all. At least I hope so. Because there's a lot of anything under here, under the bed. Yeah. If worse comes to worse, I guess we can make those improvised hand wraps. But those there's those are not the best. Is that I think that's the uh hinterland logo. And and I did notice that before. But that logo there. That's the the game company that, that made this game, Hinterland, that's their logo. Um, I think I just searched that. Empty, empty. Okay, uh, we'll go search another house real quick. Um, so yeah, two weeks ago, two weekends ago, I uh, had my, my birthday party here in Indy. And um, it was a game night, and we ended up basically just playing a lot of Jackbox games. Um, but we also, we played uh, um, uh, Code Words. Code Words, I think it was called? Code Name, maybe? But uh, it was like Disney, Co D Disney version of Code Words. Code Words, Code Names. I can't remember if it's Code Words or Code Names. Um, but that was fun, because like... So, I wasn't sure, you know, how many people were going to show up. I expected maybe 10, maybe 12. But we ended up having like 14 or 15 people show up. Um, so like in most Jackbox games, the most people can play are like 8. So we played those for a while, but then, you know, we wanted a game that everybody could get in on. Because um, even though, um, like with Jackbox games, there are like audience members, but you know, they can't play the full game. They can only participate in the audience, um, so they can only like vote on certain things. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we ended up having a lot of fun, at least I had a lot of fun. I think everybody had a lot of fun. And I uh, decided to do a taco bar. Oh man, like seriously, I'm not joking. I had, we had a lot of leftovers. So, I had tacos every night for a week, and it was glorious because I love tacos. I'm surprised we had like, so like, we, I made, um, um, like chicken tacos, or no, no, I had beef, I had beef tacos, um, but all the beef was gone, but then I also made beans, and I had a lot of beans left, so. I had bean tacos for like seven days in a row. I think it was just six because because after that I went to Chicago. I feel like there might have been gloves in here actually, just like laying on one of the benches. Yeah. So the problem is a lot of times I use gloves and break them down just for for the cloth. I don't know. I must have done that. Well. Hmm. We might just have to go without gloves for a little while. I don't... I don't, like, specifically remember where there were gloves. Hmm. Did I search? No, I haven't searched this house yet. I mean, I, I'm sure I have, I just haven't in a while. Seems like they were working on this house. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Alright, well... Guess no gloves. I wonder if there's one in like one of the like bunkers? Maybe there's one in the bunkers? I don't know. I'll have to look again. Alright, hopefully this 
Gut will be cured by now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let us repair our rabbit skin hat actions. How much? It'll repair 55%. Use one glove or one gut and one rabbit pelt. I hope this works. I really hope this works. 95% chance of success. That's good, but it's not 100%. Uh, yeah, use the sewing kit. <coughs> Alright, good, good, good. Back up to 74%. Excellent. I love how, you, like, you can tell it's made by... With, like, a rabbit. Pelt, you know? I just think that's cool. Okay, then. Um... I remember, let's see, I think there were, there were like leather gloves, like very thick heavy leather gloves here or something? I don't remember. I'm thinking since we're pretty close to this, we'll head there first real quick, try and find some gloves, and then we'll just head over there to this from here. Okay. Before we go, there's a chance that this might be the last time we're going to be here before we go. So I'm just going to check my supplies. We'll go ahead and take that. Take that. Wow, we've actually got a lot of food in here. I didn't realize how much food we had. Oh, wow, this is all very good stuff. Okay, wow, we are actually in much better shape than I thought. Got a, picked up a lot of food from that. Okay. Um, bandages. We've got three bandages already. Um, oh, 98% MRE. Great. We will t definitely take that. Um, is that good? We'll go ahead and switch out our sewing kit. Yeah, go ahead and put that one in there. Keep our 100%. Okay. Um... That looks good. Anything in here we needed? Uh, coal. Cured wolf pelt. Okay, so we got a wolf pelt here. It's good to know. Did, um... Actually... Did, let me check my clothing real quick. Did, um... Because I had... This. Oh, that needed... That needs cured gut as well. Oh man. Okay. We got the wolf pelt for it, which is great, but no cured gut. I mean, we've got this on the ground here, but that's going to take a long time to finish curing. It'd be nice if you could make, like, a drying rack or something and, like, cure it faster, you know? Instead of just throwing it on the ground inside. I don't know. Okay. Um, got a pot. The other one we've got's better. Okay, I think we are good to go. Alright, let's head out. Um, what time of day is it? Middle of the day? Okay, that's good. As long as we get to the, the like, fishing hole by, by nighttime, we're, we'll be alright. Actually, when I'm thinking about it, we are thirsty. Let's go ahead and, like, drink this. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's get to that supply cache. Is it worth checking in here? Let's do an arrow. Okay, we'll take that. We'll check in here real, just real quick for some gloves. I don't remember there being any in here. Oh, I don't remember that either. That... I just got an achievement, every last one. Huh. Okay, I've already got books. Okay, then let's... Forest Talkers. Oh, nice. I didn't... Oh, man. Excellent. Uh, where... Wait, is this the one I just picked up? 
Pleasant Valley Collectible Part 1, Part 3. I'm not sure. I think this is the one I just picked up. I didn't like... Is this all in order? Map of Pleasant Valley? I don't know. This seems to be in order, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I think I think it's this one. Um okay, this might be our one chance to survive out here as a community again instead of individual homesteads. Mines aren't producing anymore. Timber is plentiful and access is easy. We need those jobs. So yeah, seems like, yeah, the only side mission I've got left is, is the, the fish, and then we just have to finish the main story. Okay, cool. And we got fuel, accelerant, nothing, gloves, ah, just more leather gloves. That was close. Anything else like really? Yeah, nothing's terrible. So I wish we had gut to fix that, but yeah, this is gonna have gloves in it now. Yeah, that's not not very good quality. Okay, head to the to the bunker. It was right because we, we went there back and forth a couple of times on the other side of the bridge. Um, so last weekend was the weekend I was actually in Chicago, um, and so just just a little. Um, background, which I'm sure I've explained a little bit about this before, but um, so every year my friends have a big Valentine's Day party, and my birthday is the day after Valentine's Day, so we just kind of throw that on top of it and call it my birthday party as well. Um, but this tradition actually started um, 12 years ago. This was the 12th annual Valentine's Day party. Um, and it was actually started by a friend of mine um, who started it before I knew her. She was uh, a roommate of mine. Well, we were friends in college, and then we ended up being roommates in college as well. Um, but I met her, and I was trying to figure this out before I started streaming. I think we met in 2010. So the first one I went to was in 2011. So this was the ninth one I had been to. And I'm pretty sure I was the, um, other than my friend who started it, I have been to more of these parties than anybody else. Like a lot of our friends like, you know, try and show up every year, but you know, they also have lives and they, they can't make it every year. Um, so, I, um, even like back in 2016, that's the year I went to Australia. I left for that, I left for Australia, um, on January 29th. And, you know, again, it being a Valentine's Day party, it's usually the middle of February when, uh, we have this party. Um, so I asked my friend to, to move the party before I, so, so I, before I left so I could, I could go. So have it, you know, in uh, late January instead of the middle of February because I would be halfway across the world. 
and she agreed. So I, have, I, I haven't, since we started having this party, I haven't missed one yet. I've been nine consecutive years in a row. Is that smoke? Huh. I feel like I need to investigate that. Um, really hope there's some gloves in here. Um, but, okay, so this year, the, um, so this year, well, I guess I should say the last couple of years, I think the last, like, three or four years, um, she's lived in Chicago, which is why we go to Chicago for the party, and a couple of friends of mine who live in Indy, um, we always go up there every year, we carpool, um, the last couple of years we've gotten an Airbnb, uh, this stuff will come in handy. Huh, I hadn't searched this before. Leave it. Leave it. Well, hello. Decent driving gloves. I mean, I, I guess these are better than nothing. Empty. Empty. Yeah. All right. Well, at least they're in good shape. I'll go ahead and put them on. Oh, I did. I guess I just automatically put them on. So what is... I wonder what it's... Take off. Can we... Okay, I guess just... You can kind of see there. Oh, it's a little bit better. Just barely, but... Yeah, I guess better than nothing. I think that's the hunting knife we dropped, right? Let me check. Where's our knife? 86, yeah. That one's 86, yeah, they're both 86. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, let's uh, head out and get to. Let's head to the um, fishing hole. Try and find that big old magical fish. That legendary fish. Um, so, as I was saying, um, last couple years, my friends and I, um, have a cave. I don't think I've checked out that cave. I did. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Let's check it out. Don't think this is... Have I? I, I know the, um... No, I definitely haven't. Excellent. Dog food. Ah, we're actually pretty good on food, so I'm not gonna worry about taking the bad dog food. Sure, we'll take that. Oh. I'm glad they don't have like really big, long, winding caves in this game. Like they're just kind of simple little rooms, almost. You know. I feel like that would just be too, like, Skyrim-y, you know? I wouldn't want to spend half an hour every time I find a cave just, like, searching the cave. Because that's that's exactly what I would do. Huh, I'm surprised this, like, hasn't been on my map before. Okay. Um, so, yeah. My friends and I, uh, we all, we last couple years we've gotten an Airbnb. So this year, um, you know, no different. We got an Airbnb. Um, we got it um, a couple of months ago, you know, because we obviously knew that this party was happening, and we we like to plan months in advance. Um, and and literally the day of last Friday, the day of the party, the day we were planning on going up there, the day we did go up there, our Airbnb canceled on us. Our hosts canceled on us. So, like, I woke up in the middle, because I, I work nights, so, like, you know, I woke up in the middle of the afternoon when I normally wake up to 
a text message, or I guess a message from Airbnb saying your host is canceled. And this is literally hours before we were supposed to be there. Um, and like by the time I saw it, we actually, we could have checked in at that point. We just, you know, we weren't up there yet. So, um, this is too steep. I think I'm going to, I think I can kind of show me this. Um, so, yeah, last minute, I just had to, um, had, we had to find a place. <laughs> you know, there was no turning back at this point, and, you know, if we wanted to go, we could, I mean, I guess we could have canceled, but, you know, would, we didn't want to do that, obviously. Um, so... You know, I immediately got online and just like looked and looked and looked and I checked, you know, I mean, obviously at that point it was impossible to find another Airbnb for the price that we were looking for. And especially with it being Valentine's Day weekend, everything was booked. Actually, we're going to drop that stick we just picked up. Drop just one. Um, so like an Airbnb, you know, they were like, you know, we're sorry. They obviously gave us a full refund. Um, and then they were like, they gave us a $30 credit towards another Airbnb. But, you know, you know again, that at that point, at that stage, so close where we were looking for one that night, there was, there was no one nowhere, no one anywhere near the price we were looking for. And, you know, so that 30 bucks, it didn't really help anything. Um, so we ended up, I did finally find a hotel, because that was, you know, all, all there was. And, and also, I forgot to mention, last weekend in Chicago was the NBA All-Star Game. So pretty much everything was booked between, you know, the, the Valentine's Day and the, the All-Star Game. But we did finally find a fairly cheap hotel, um, fairly close to our friend's house, because we didn't want to be anywhere. You know, we wanted to be in the city, because she lives in the city. Um, so uh, we actually booked the the Hyatt Regency, which was like a super fancy hotel, <laughs> and we got a really good deal on it. So like, you know, it's one of those things where. It was a total bummer, but it all ended up kind of working out. You know, it was kind of a last minute panic, but everything ended up okay. Um, so, you know, we got up there. Hopefully that wolf will just ignore us. We can kind of hide around it a bit. Actually, we can just kind of go up this way instead. This way actually looks less steep. I think it's actually a safer bet going up around this way. Um, so yeah, the hotel was super nice. We, we made it up there. Made it to the party. The party was super fun. It was a good time. Um, and uh, so the friends I go up with, they have a another friend <laughs> who lives up there who one of them went to college with um, and I had I'd, I had like met him before but I never like had any kind of you know I never really spent any decent time with him or had a had a real good conversation with him or anything but um, he spent like this time he spent most of the weekend with us like after after the party he um, He ended up like crashing at our hotel for the weekend. Um, what is that? Is that a bar? Oh, that's like a piece of firewood. Oh yeah, we'll take that. Although we're actually pretty good on um, on firewood or on temperature. I mean, it's nice and warm out here today. 
but we're still going to need some firewood for uh, to cook up some of that fish when we get there. Um, and some of the, like, canned foods we have. Can we actually get up this way? No, it's more this way. Okay. Um, but, anyways, yeah, it was like, it was super nice getting to know this guy. He was super nice, super cool. Um, very laid back. Um, he's, he's actually, he's an actor in Chicago. And he, uh, Um, but he, uh, he is in a show starting next month, and, like, he actually found out while we were, while we were there. Oh, man, the hashtag come for me. seem to be two of them. Usually they seem to like hunt in packs of three. Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have reloaded. Actually, gonna go ahead and get some meat off of this guy. Um, we'll get like two kilos of meat. Um, yeah, we're not gonna worry about the hide or the guts because we don't have. We're not gonna have time to. Sixteen minutes. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna have time to to cure it anyways. I wonder if I can take, drop any of this gear. Just take the meat. Okay, go ahead and put that away then. Um. All right, I think we're good. Um. So yeah, our friend is. A, oh, you know, you know, I now consider him my friend. Um. He's an actor, and he is going to be in a show called Pickle Rickacles. So, it's a mashup of of uh, Rick and Morty and Pericles, and like he was explaining it to us, and like he was like going over the script and stuff, like practicing his lines while we were there. It sounds very funny. It sounds like it's gonna be really good, and like th this kid's got like an amazing like Rick voice, like when he. When he's, you know, acting, he sounds exactly like Rick. It's crazy how good he is at, at Rick. So. And, like, I'm considering going up there in March to see it, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I'm really going to be able to. Let me, like, how do I keep, like... Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. You know, it's... It's... it's even though it's just... A couple hours away, Chicago's just a couple hours away. It's still just like a lot of work and a lot of money to like get up there, you know? And just a lot of time, you know? As much as I'd like to see it, it's probably not gonna happen. Okay. Well, we made it here and it's definitely not dark yet, so, uh, that's good. Fishing hole, completely frozen over. No. No. Really hoping for some gloves in here that I didn't take. What was that? Two of sardines. No. Got a bedroll in here. 81%. Alright. Alright, well, um. Let's just get back to fishing. Oh, we'll use this. I, I don't think it mattered which one we used. 
I think it all took about the same time. Alright, um, how are we doing? We are... So we're pretty good on food and drink. Um, I'm thinking... Let's just go ahead and, like, drink some of these to top off. Alright, and then let's fish for, like, three hours? If this fish is as big as they say, I don't know if that hole is going to be big enough, you know? Um, sure, we'll go ahead and... Um, actually, let's leave it. I'm thinking we'll only keep, hold on to stuff that's like... A thousand calories. Wow, that's a big boy. Yeah, we will take that. I have to read... Um, like how, where, I guess I need to open my journal. Tall tails, catch a giant fish. It doesn't like specifically say how big. And like, I know there was like a, where do I find it? Yeah, like a book on it, but there's no examine. Children playing alongside a long pensive pond know him as Big Eddie. He'd eat every bit of bread, meat, or other foodstuffs they would toss into the water, hoping to lure the massive fish to the surface. Of course, being children, fascination with the creature meant they could spend hours along the banks of the pond, waiting for him to appear. Others in the valley, being of more restrained disposition, felt obliged to leave the fish in peace. Who can say what the truth of the story might be? Yeah, so it, it doesn't really like give us any tips or anything on how to find it. It just like I don't think we can use like any bait or anything to like lure it out. Okay, we'll fish like two more hours. I need to find a place to rest. And then um, yeah, she's getting very tired, so we will sleep. Uh, we will leave that. Okay then, let us yeah, go ahead and drink that, and then drink this as well, and then we will sleep. Okay. Sleep for like eight hours. Let's see where we are at that point. Okay, so we're still kind of tired. Let's uh, let's go ahead and top off our water here. With thirst. What, what, uh, let me see what time of day it is. Uh, sun's just coming up. We'll go ahead and sleep for like three more hours. Alright, good, good. Pick that up. Well, I'm thinking actually that this bed rolls at 75%, and this one I think was higher 81%. So we'll, we'll actually take that one. Keep using this. Um, and I guess we can go ahead and like... Start a fire and start cooking up some of this stuff. I'll use the fire starter, use the book. 55... Oh, 100% oh, chance success, nice. We only have one tinder plug. That's okay, I got lots of sticks. We can make more tinder plugs. Okay, so just looking at the clock right now. I'm thinking we might and you know, who knows how long it's gonna take to actually catch this this fish. Um, 
But I'm thinking we might not end this week. We might wait for like next week to actually finish up. Man, that is such a big fish. Almost four kilos. Alright, yeah, go ahead and hook that up. It'll be an hour till that's ready, so we will fish for an hour. Ready, take that. Cook. Cook us up that other slab of meat. Go ahead and fish for another hour. I do like this. We got like a we got a good little system here when we're fishing. Um no, we're just gonna leave that one too, actually. It's big, but we're doing good on meat. Okay, so cook up this. Okay, that's going to take 50 minutes. Let's go ahead and eat. Um, well, I'm going to eat the, the meat we just cooked up. Where are you? 100%? 100%? Okay, yeah, just eat that. Okay, um, actually we'll go ahead and eat this one as well. Let's... 42 minutes already. Um, maybe we should just pass time because I don't want to burn it. Pass time till that's ready. Um, let's drink some more. And then after this we'll need to make some more water. Oh, let me check my map real quick. Yeah, okay. So we are right where we need to be. Good. Locals tell of a magical pond. Did actually I'm trying to think about it. Did that say anything about like the fish only coming out at night or something? Um, just hoping to learn less fish to the surface, squirting children. No, yeah, doesn't say anything about like time of day or. Okay, just known as Big Eddie. Alright, we will pass time till this is ready. Take it and cook. Um, yeah, make some more water. Uh, yeah, go and do a full liter of that. Fish for an hour. Water should be just about done by the time we're done with this. I'll leave that. Leave that. Perfect. Like that. Pick that up. Um, we'll fish for like three hours this time. Big old fish. Come on, big Eddie. I'm like, I'm not taking any of these. It's starting to get dark again. Nothing. And our fire is out. Which is fine. Actually, now that I think about that, we do need to make more tinder plugs, so we'll do that just very quickly. Two of them, so we'll get two, uh, four tender plugs total. Okay, good. Keep this clear. Three more hours. I am determined, determined to catch this fish. Love that. Um, it's pretty big. We keep it. Yeah, let's keep it. I'm not sure I'm much more. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Do that. Nope. 
We're gonna get you, Eddie. We will get you. It's the last thing I do. Or, I should say, if it's the second to last thing I do. Um, actually, we're, we're okay. Just keep fishing, I guess. Maybe it's not a bad idea just to do it one hour at a time, even if we've got the time. Keep going one hour at a time. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, we'll take him. Um. How's it looking out there? Snowing. Because we do actually need some firewood. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we could just get some firewood real quick and come back. That'll, that'll do. That should be all we need for now. Oh yeah, we get a tender plug out of it too. Uh, it takes 45 minutes, that'll be good. Okay, we can just head right back. Warm up and cook up some of this fish we caught. I know, you're cold, Astrid. We're heading right back in. Okay, start up the fire again. 100% chance of success. Oops, light it up. Come on, little fire. Come on. I like knowing that it is 100% chance of success. That's just like, even though it's normally like 99% or 95% or whatever, it's just, it's a lot less stressful knowing it's like guaranteed. Um, let's add a couple of sticks. That's good. Okay, cook up some of the fish we just caught. That's not going to take very long. Uh, we'll just pass time to that one's ready. The other bigger one's going to take longer though, so let's cook it up. Okay. I feel like it's going to be obvious when it's Big Eddie. He's probably going to be like 10 kilos or something. Actually, we probably can go ahead and eat some of this fish, because um, we are very hungry. Uh, this is the big one. That's our biggest one. Wow. Almost 1,700 calories. But yeah, that just about filled us right up. See, yeah, even the, the MREs are like 1,700. Fishing. Uh, oh, dang it. Did one. It was this big. That's the achievement I just got. There we go. 15 kilos. Holy smokes. So we got it. We finished it. Alright, bud. The legends were true. Alright, Big Eddie. It was nice meeting you. But we're going to go ahead and toss you back. There you go. Alright. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
Completed all the tall tales. Completed all the side missions. Alright, well, let's go ahead. I think we, I don't think we have anything else really left to cook. Yeah. Um, but we do need to make some more water, so let's do that real quick. Go ahead and, yeah, cook up. Full liter. Um, and then once that's done, we will go ahead and sleep. Um, and then I'm thinking we will actually go ahead and head back to the community center and then leave it there. Or, you know, I'm thinking well, let's, we'll go ahead and sleep here and then we'll, we'll call it there for now. And then next week we will, we'll go ahead and finish it up. Alright, yeah, let's pass time to this is ready. Pass time to ready. Alright, take it. Pick that up. Um, drink. Top us off. Okay. Um, even though the sun is just coming up, but we're, we're tired. We're, we're gonna need to sleep. Okay, so yeah, we'll sleep for like eight hours. Gonna make most of the day pass, but but we need the sleep. Okay, um, and actually, we are going to leave this here. What is it? Let's say how much it is. I don't know. Um, yeah, go ahead and top off our thirst and our hunger. Okay, eat. Um, actually, maybe. Okay, so I'm thinking next time what we'll do is um, we will cook up or light up the stove one more time and. Yeah, it seems pretty windy out there. Well, so we'll light up the stove one more time um, and cook up like one of these cans to give us that warming up benefit. And then, um, and heck, really, maybe from there we'll just head straight to straight to the mine because I don't think we need to stop back by the community center for anything really. We did all the side missions, so yeah, we're uh, I think we're good. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will have the finale. Um, and then after that, um, I've got a couple of games lined up. Um, I still want to finish uh, The Witness. So I think I'm going to record that um, after this. Um, and then I'm thinking I want to record either Undertale or The First Tree, which was a, a game that was suggested to me by... Uh, by um, Human Ramen, she's uh, one of my followers. So thank you for that suggestion. Um, but as always, if you have any other game suggestions, uh, I'm always open to game suggestions, um, whether it be for the Chillist series or just, you know, in general. Um, obviously for the Chillist series, it's gotta be something chill, you know, you get the idea. Um, and uh, I, I don't like push this too much, but um, you, you kind of got to play the game sometimes, so um, if uh, if you if you are enjoying the series, uh, I do appreciate it if uh, you put a like down below. It uh, really helps, you know, with the algorithm and you know the YouTube algorithm. I don't know how it all works, but but it does help um, help. It helps me and helps people discover me and find me. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would appreciate that. Um, and really the biggest, uh, like kind of the most important thing, um, if you really enjoy this, share it with your friends. If you have someone who, you know, enjoys ASMR ish type of stuff, or like they, they're looking for YouTubes that they, YouTube videos that, you know, just kind of relax, chill, laid back videos, you know, the, cause I make videos that kind of emulate videos that I like. So there are YouTubers that I like who do this style of video that's just you know they're longer videos but they're stuff i watch you know kind of 
before I go to bed that just kind of relax me and put me in a relaxed mood. Um, so if you have friends that, you know, like this type of stuff, it, word of mouth is the best type of advertisement there is out there. So if you would please suggest this to your friends, that would mean more to me than anything. Um, thank you so much guys for watching, and uh, I will see you next week for the finale of episode 3 of The Long Dark. Thanks so much guys, bye.